Hello everyone, I'm Hisham Al-Madiyun, Master's Student at Materials, Science, Energy and Nano Engineering Department at Mohammed VI Polytechnic University. I'm delighted to present to you today my work entitled Technical Economic Investigation of Novel Hybrid CSP PV Plants Configuration. For my presentation, I choose to start with general context where I'll introduce the technologies used, then I'll move to the proposed concept of PV CSP hybridization. After that, we will discuss the cost effectiveness investigation of the new hybrid configuration taking the case of Middle City, then I'll finish with a short conclusion. Climate changes, resources depletion, these are the main topics when thinking about energy related issues and these are the main concerns scientists have to face when designing and analyzing new energy systems. The Moroccan government has built its strategy according to these details, so by 2030, 52% of electricity will be provided by renewable energy. When we talk about renewable solar energy, it presents the most abundant source of renewable energy. Currently, there are two main ways for converting solar energy to, electric to electricity, either by PV or CSP. PV technology converts directly solar energy to electricity via photovoltaic effects of its semiconductor use. Crystalline modules of PV are the most used and it presents 85% of the photovoltaic market. This dominance is due to the maturity of the technology. The cost of electricity produced by PV technology it can be estimated to 6 cents per kilowatt hour. The second technology, CSP, which can be divided in three parts. Solar field, responsible for concentrating the solar beam into a receiver to heat up a heat transfer fluid. The second part, which store the excess of thermal energy during low demand. And finally, the power block mainly composed with turbine connected to a generator of electricity. What makes the CSP a very interesting choice is the low cost of its thermal energy storage. This system can mitigate intermittence of solar energy and deliver more electricity in case of the peak demand. The TAS was optional on the first plant, but it becomes mandatory since it increases the capacity factor from 30% to 75%. With all these advantages, this is still way behind PV installed capacity. This gap is due to the complexity of the installation. This P required specific geometry. It can't be installed everywhere. And a high investment because of the high cost of the equipment. CSP and PV were seen as competitors, but recently, many research proved that these two technologies could become complementary. The hybridization of these two could profit from the low cost of PV to reduce the LCO, and on the other hand, TS of CSP can increase the CF to 85%. The objective of this work is to assess the cost effectiveness of a new hybrid configuration plant where the CSP plant is used to increase the temperature of the heat transfer fluid to 400 degrees C. After that, we will use PV to run an electrical heater to heat up the molten salt into 565 degrees C. For that, Middle City has been selected to perform this study, and System Advisor model some software was used to simulate the PV and CSP behavior. SALM enables for the greatest performance of CSP and PV plants by optimizing the DNA design point and tilting angle. In the case of Middle City, it benefits from a high level of sunshine estimated at an annual radiation rate of over 2096 kWh per square meter per year for the global horizontal radiation and 2359 kWh per square meter per year for the direct normal radiation. On the other hand, this city is characterized by a semi arid climate with temperatures ranging from 6.2 degrees C in January to 24.7 degrees C in July. The DNI design point is a very important parameter for the CSP technology. It allows finding the optimum size of the system. The optimum DNI design point is around 400 watts per square meter, which has the lowest LCOE and the highest capacity factor CF of almost 29.5%. The annual thermal energy production from a solar field simulation using SAM is estimated to be around 11.1 gigawatts hour thermic. This energy was computed using a solar multiple of 103 and uh, 400 watts per square meter DNI design point. The plant's capacity factor is predicted to be 29.6% with a levelized cost of heating of around 0.012 euro per 
uh, kilowatts hour thermic. A simulation of a PV power plant of 2070 kilowatts AC predicts a first year output of 3802 megawatts hour and after 25 years of operation, a slide drop to 3,371 megawatt hour has been predicted. In addition, the first year's capacity factor is expected to be 20.9%, otherwise the plant would run for 1,833 hours a year. So, during this study, a novel configuration of hybridization between CSP and PV is proposed and its cost effectiveness is examined, and also a hybrid plant Modeling and optimization has been investigated, and we proved that the use of PV to upgrade the heat enables significant cost saving. And finally, we found out that Middles is a suitable city for hybrid plants coupled to a TES implementation. And thank you for your attention.